to get fitter, faster, and stronger on your bike, it's not just enough to ride your bike for 30 hours. You also need to go and hit the, hit the gym. So now I'm going to show you how I do some squats with a barbell. I do squats with a maximal weight. That means between three to five uh, reps. And uh, I do uh, four sets of that. And right after the exercise, I do some jumps to even try to uh, activate more muscle fibers. With jumps, you have the highest possible activation uh, of your muscles. It's really important to do uh, first the warm-up uh, with less weight, uh, with more uh, reps, uh, to uh, make sure you don't get injured um, and your muscles are already uh, warm. For warm-up, I do around um, 60 kilos, I do this about 20 reps. So, after warm up, I take now for max, max weight, I take around uh, 130, 140 kilograms, but that's also, you need to build that slowly up and you also need to first build up your core. You can't just start with a squat with a lot of weight. Um, you need to, make, need to make sure you have enough muscles also to hold it around your core. Have a good stand. Shoulder wide stand. Tighten your core. Look slightly up. Make really sure you, your back is straight and then Slowly down. Maximum speed up. Slow down. Right after the, the squat, actually the half squat, um, I do jumps. So I did now five reps um, with uh, 135 kilograms. Right after, I do some jumps. I do it out of the, out of, from sitting. It's all about explosiveness. In between the sets, uh, with this uh, exercise, it's actually important to, to recover. So it's five minutes recovering in between uh, that you can really go for max power afterwards again. That was now a, quite a specific workout. Uh, for a cyclist, but uh, for every endurance athlete, it's actually important to do some sort of a uh, gym workout. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and you were able to learn something from it. Uh, do it always well feed it and right afterwards, uh, have a good uh, recover shake, a protein shake like this one.